Hi everyone, it's Krithika Isabella. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be starting a wedding series on my channel called Save the Date Saturdays where I'm going to be sharing the process leading up to the best day ever, my wedding. In this wedding series, you're going to see my tips and tricks on how I made the best day ever come to pass. I'm going to show you guys everything from budgeting to outfits and um, really sitting you guys down as if I was your personal wedding planner and giving you all the sneak peeks. So stay tuned and you guys are going to see a lot of material coming up soon. So look out for that. I'm actually super excited about filming that stuff. So you're going to get blasted with wedding related content. The purpose of actually having this wedding series is to inspire, motivate and help any future brides or any current brides who are getting married soon. I'm also hoping that this wedding series serves as a time capsule for my, not only myself because I find that um, after a while certain things you forget about it and you lose um, the magic of certain moments because you see it as a whole and you don't remember the small little things that made it so special as well as something to give my children. I want it to be a time capsule where they get to see all of the raw and real moments and get to be a part of a moment that they were not around for. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited for this and um, I'm just so thankful to God to be able to film this and that I had an amazing bridesmaid who filmed everything along the way so I have real footage we're not retaking any footage it's all real and raw and I'm super excited about it. so now that we've gotten all of that stuff out of the way let's get to the fun stuff and we're gonna talk about my proposal I'm so excited I get to share I got to share that video with you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it it was such a special and personal moment and I really had to think about whether I wanted to put that out on here but then I thought about all the different reasons we talked about just earlier and I thought to myself, why not put that here? So with that being said, if you haven't watched that video, please go back to some of my previous videos and you will see that I got engaged and go watch that video. Yes, right now. Okay, so for those of you guys who have already watched that video, I really wanted to talk about some personal moments that you guys couldn't see on camera and um, I'm just gonna share that raw and real with you guys behind the scenes all right leading up to the proposal I have to say that um, him proposing was not a surprise from the day that we met one another we had always talked about wedding like getting married we talked about weddings um, we knew that that's what we wanted in our future and to be honest with you um, I'm going to be your girlfriend here, so I'm just going to tell you straight. I really wasn't looking for a boyfriend, much less a relationship. I really wanted um, somebody to marry, and I'm being honest. I did not want to get my heart broken. I really wanted to save myself for that one person that I would spend the rest of my life with. And my heart's desire, and I'm so, so thankful to God that it was really, in my vows I say it as well, is to meet one man, to fall in love with that man, and to marry that one man. So I was so excited that... Um, that was already talked about so him proposing was always um, a part of the plan we always talked about that from the beginning actually might have been like right from the beginning yeah so how he proposed where he proposed when he proposed that was always like up in the air I didn't know how that was gonna happen I knew he had some ideas um, unfortunately I had some ideas even though I'm not a guy I obviously were millennials you know we got some ideas up here especially with Instagram to help so I had seen so many different I felt like every calling anybody names but I felt like every girl was out here getting proposed to and married and having children at all at the same time but I guess that's our age group right now who is going through those kinds of life changes so it's to be expected but um, as in millennial fashion, we were doing it up. So I had already seen so many different proposal ideas and stuff like that. So I would drop some very loud hints. And so some of the hints that I gave him was, um, I want it to look cute. Ain't nobody trying to look uh, crazy out here in the streets, okay? So hair done, makeup done. I wanted um, a cute outfit on. I, don't, I didn't necessarily think that I needed to be wearing this. Actually, who are we kidding? I like dressing up people so ball gown it was right and um, I really wanted to look stunning and I want him to look great I know I said things like um, it's gonna sound weird I wanted a beautiful view 
I wanted uh, a photographer there, a videographer there, only because I feel like those mo moments are ever fleeting. And if you don't capture them, then there's no way to reminisce other than in your memories, but that's not something you can necessarily share unless you're doing it like this or in person. And so um, I really wanted somebody to capture it. It didn't necessarily have to be like a professional, but it had to be somebody who could capture pictures or a video. And so that was my um, wish list, if you will. So I had put that in his ear. Um, as for the ring, because everybody wants to know about that, I knew what I wanted. I was, I was that girl. You know, I'm watching Say Yes to the Dress since whenever the hell it came out. And um, so, I, yeah, I knew what I wanted. And uh, we did a lot of shopping around. I think we started shopping around maybe like, I want to say like three or four years before we ever got engaged. And um, I guess it was so that he got an idea of like what I liked, what my finger size was. So for those of you guys out there, I would suggest that, you know, have discussions about this, like about what she, the girl wants, her finger size. So it's not a complete surprise or you're not getting her something that like you don't know whether she's going to like or not. Um, but I will say to those of you guys who are trying to shock your girlfriend or boyfriend with a proposal and you've never spoken about marriage, that's probably not the best um, way to get a favorable response. I would suggest um, having that conversation first, you know, that if that's something that you guys want out of your relationship, then it's so important to say that that's your goal for your life, for this relationship, and see if they're even on the same page because if they're not, that's okay, but then, then you know that's not the right person, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, so um, that happened, and thank God I have sisters, because they really made sure that they, because they knew that about me, they really enforced making that happen, and um, my now husband is very gracious. He tries to give me everything I want, so thank God for that, because that's exactly what I got. Um, now for the day of, I was told we were to get ready and that we were going to get everything done professionally and I'll, in a later video I'll explain all of the reasons why, but as for now we're just going to stick to as a condensed version of this story as possible. So I already knew that I needed to get ready so the night before I stayed at my cousin's house and she was going to take me to the makeup artist. So I got my hair and makeup did, we actually got this dress. I want to say two weeks ago and can I be honest with you guys I was not sure about this dress at all um, in fact I think I gave my big sister a big hard time about it and had many 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 alternatives and was looking online for dresses um, but long story short I'm so thankful to God that that was the dress I ended up wearing was the most drop-dead gorgeous dress ever and um, yeah so I ended up getting ready they dropped me off in front of this building and I'm like where are we and they run out of the car they throw a scarf at me and they said well I asked for the scarf because I was wearing a dress I'm like it's cold outside and um, they said walk and I'm like walk where you know like where are we going they're like start walking it's right over there so I get out of the car boots and all under that, that dress and I start walking towards like this the side of this building and all I see is like to be honest with you, people I don't know. Like strange people, like strangers, you know, strange men. Um, <laughs> I love you guys, but I just didn't know who the hell you were at the time. So I was like, okay. And all I see is like men with like photography, like big equipment, like things like you used to see at like, you know, like, I don't know, old school places, like big Tamil, like looking size stuff. No, I'm joking. Um, I saw stuff like I didn't see, like this kind of drone machine thingy and like, real like actual pic like a professional photography but I didn't recognize these people I'm like okay so all I could think of was oh it's cold outside and uh, that like you're gonna see my boots them pictures and videos gonna be ruined you see my boots my dutty boots right so I'm like praying to god that I don't look crazy walking walking there and um walk up that building and as soon as I get to like the edge of the building I see um, like Rishi to the corner of my eye and I just looked first of all I was very focused on <laughs> the video camera and the, the photography but then I looked over and I saw him and he was wearing like a matching blue suit 
and he had a red rose in his hand and he gave it to me and he looked super nervous like you have to know like now it's probably like six years that we had been together at that time and I never not one day had I ever seen this man nervous like ever and he looked so nervous he couldn't say anything he just started laughing and I walk forward a little bit and I see like my entire family um his family our friends and I'm like what y'all doing here and why is there a red carpet down here so I looked up in the front and it said love and then there was a big heart with like that was it was candles in the shape of a heart with like ro red rose petals and in the front it said um, there was a, a gold sign that said marry me and um, the there was like a, a red carpet with like rocks holding it down so he walked me up the the red carpet into the heart and um, there was like a, a beautiful bouquet of roses like red roses and um, he got on one knee and um, asked me to marry him it's so funny because I was just telling my girlfriend here Shira I was telling her that um, he loves to talk and I know he will tell you he doesn't but definitely does he's a, a man of many words and um, funny enough that day that's the only thing he could get out of himself like that's the only thing he said was will you marry me and I was just like dumbfounded and it was so funny because I, I always tell him I was expecting this big hoopla this big speech uh, and he definitely did that and brought that for our wedding vows but that day I think it says a lot when somebody who can express themselves very well is unable to express themselves I think that speaks I think that's beautiful actually <laughs> um, and everybody screamed and uh, funny like a joke in our family is like we uh, we sing we say happy Diwali like to everything I know it doesn't make any sense but it's like from the movie Savaji like that's what they say like that's how they say it so um, my siblings were saying that I was like okay guys you guys are whack as usual but um, so yeah the most beautiful to be honest with you moment about that was like I had my dad there I had my grandmother there like she had come out of the cold like you guys have to realize I got engaged February 16 in Canada super cold people who see our pictures are like yo there's snow on the ground I'm like yeah and they're like you're wearing a dress like weren't you freezing I'm like I'm just gonna tell you straight that um, all I could think about was like I'm shivering so hard my bum is shaking I hope to god that that's not what the videographer gets it's like like this like <laughs> my bum shaking anyways so um, yeah so he asked us and then um, asked us he asked me and yeah so we obviously I said yeah like hello and uh, yeah. <laughs> hello that's why we're doing a wedding series right anyways so um, yeah so I said yes so special um, and the most beautiful part about I think all of this is that he uh, he did it right like he asked my mom and dad for their blessing he wanted to make sure that he honored my parents in this and our families and he invited my extended families which was so awesome and for those who couldn't be there I think that it's awesome that we were able to capture this on video because now see all y'all are about to be a part of it and um, then we ended up driving home to my mom's house and inside they wouldn't even let me come inside for like a good 15 minutes I was in the car thank god for heat in the car and uh, we were talking there and then they let me come inside and they had a party planned um, it was so sweet and we got take we got to take pictures and have food and cut cake and um, it was such an amazing time and I even got an outfit change listen I'm always prepared okay call me miss quinceanera like I'm here for the party I'm here for the dress up so um, I had an outfit change and um, had such a beautiful night I think that day marked six years and four months of us Recording. and um, it was such a great way to start off 2019 with a proposal and it just really marked how we were going to celebrate 2019 um, we ended up getting married within six months of our proposal um, and yeah I'm so excited that you guys got to see that video I'm so excited that I got to share some special moments memories thoughts and I hope you guys loved this video if you did give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell down there so you guys are notified of any other future videos that I make 
I'll talk to you guys soon and I'll see you in the next. Take care. Bye. What I'm also hoping is that this Bella get it together. There's like something in you. Oh, sorry. I can't. <laughs> I'll get there. You get it? Okay. It's creepy guys about blah 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 blah. I was like, welcome back to my channel. Oh, what did it? And I'm doing the um thing again. Come on, with you. Get it together. <sighs> so now we're gonna talk about my proposal. Is that what I'm gonna say? Yeah. Okay, guys. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine it start talking like she rap? <laughs> now that we got that out of the way, sis. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> In real life, though, that's how I am, right? Oh my goodness, okay. Um, what am I saying? Now that we got that out of the way, okay. let's jump into the real. Why are you guys are really you? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Now that we've gotten all the formalities out of the way, I'm, I'm pretty sure you half of that was not normal English. But now that we've gotten that out of the way, I'm super excited about sharing some special mem memories or moments from the proposal. Talking to all of you, we're really sitting here. <laughs> you should really be the one that how it went down was. And then I have like picture, 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 and you're in the background. Okay. <laughs> like that girl. <laughs> what happened was. <laughs> oh my oh god. My okay. Honestly, yeah. people should just come when we're filming. Shit's funny as hell. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all want to see comedy? <laughs> <laughs>